Why does government in Salem not work? You know, we all send our legislators there every year expecting good results, yet somehow they never do what they promised. It doesn't happen. The educational system sends more kids out of the schools that have failed, don't even have basic reading skills, and they ask us for more money and we consider giving it to them. There's a reason why government doesn't work. And it's fundamental to the way that our system is designed today. And for us to expect government to work, the entire system would need to change. That's not something that we can accomplish overnight, but we need to recognize that the current system is not going to succeed if we send more money. And here's why. Whenever we create a program, when we create a program with our government, we typically say, here's the problem, here's a whole bunch of money, go solve it. Now, what's the performance incentive of the people sent to solve that problem? Let's say you just employed 80 government bureaucrats creating a new organization to solve a problem. If they solved the problem for which they were employed, they would lose their jobs. The problem would go away. The people would say, hey, that was a great department. Solve the problem. You can all go home now. We're fighting against human nature. They want to keep their jobs. Now, however, let's say they fail. Let's say that they, they solve 5% of the problem. Well, then they'll just come right back and say, well, if we solve 5% of the problem, clearly we need 20 times more funding to solve the whole problem. Even then, if you gave that to them, they'd figure out another way to make the problem bigger. They'd redefine it in order to perpetuate their existence. Our government doesn't operate like this. The way our government should operate is, is if we had a problem and a, a division was set up to solve it, they'd have to solve it or they'd lose their jobs. And if they did solve it, we'd give them another problem. That would be a productive system. That would be one that would create results. That is not what we have in Salem. So anyone who advocates for more of what we're doing is going to waste our resources. They're going to perpetuate the problem because that's the only way that that department can succeed. And then we're going to come back in the next election and they're going to say, well, the problem was bigger than we anticipated and we need more. You have to break that cycle by ending the madness of it. You have to say, I'm sorry, you can't solve our problems. We're going to keep our resources and we're going to figure out how to solve them ourselves. When you've done that, you've empowered yourself You've enriched your community, and you will possibly and most probably get the result that you want because you actually have an incentive to achieve it.